you permission to record. So recording has started. Yeah, awesome, thanks. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome for this new Jenkins infrastructure meeting. We are the 29th of June. We don't, I mean, how many? So we have three topics to, to cover today. So the first one is we have a security release coming tomorrow. So this will be a weekly release and a stable release. So stay tuned. Um, I mean, I hope that we won't have an issue with the release environment. So yeah, everything should be fine by tomorrow. Just, yeah, just related to this, uh, please don't update Jenkins instances tomorrow. So we don't introduce potential noise. So the next topic is about analytics. So Gavin started discussion on discourse about how we, I mean, if we could use Google Analytics or something else for our plugins, the Jenkins Radio. We explore two options, Plausible and Matomo. So um, the first one, we, we just, because I'm already using Plausible for personal projects, but I have the, the, small, the smallest subscription, um, we just did an experiment for plugin sites. So yeah, we just have access to basic information. We just stop the experiment because um, we consume all my credits in just several hours. And so my account is not big enough to, to cover plugins such in Kizorayo. And so I don't want to pay right now. So what I would to explore, I just want to be sure that we want to use Plausible or Matomo before paying or finding sponsors. So if you have an experience here, that would be that, that I mean, yeah, feel free to share. I think the discussion can continue on discourse. Um, it's a, in, the, in, in the infra category. And what so, I like, sorry, yeah. Olivier, what we're seeing here is a, is a, a website, website um, statistics report that was generated for plugins.jenkins.io using Plausible. So you registered Jen plugins.jenkins.io with Plausible it started collecting data and this is this is what you got that quickly yes so it's quite simple because it's just a small uh, javascript uh, that you have to share in your websites and so you download in that small javascript and information to plausible so this view is public uh, so just go to plausible.io slash plugin such in kids.io you see a small peak because if you just look at what happened since um seven days we, you have a small peak because given enabled that uh, service yesterday um this time and I disabled this morning when I realized that um, I, you, we used 2000, uh, 20, 22,000 page views and I have a limit on 10,000. So, um, so that's why I, dis I disabled it for now. But yeah, the kind of information that we have is page visited, uh, sources, countries. So it's really basic information. Um, it's not the kind of information that um, Gavin was looking for because Gavin was more interested about understanding the behavior of users on the website. We could use Google Analytics, but yeah, we would like to avoid um, if possible. So um, I think that Gavin has an action item to explore Matomoto, which is another option here but I don't have any experience with this one. Matomo sounds more like um, Google, Anal a Google Analytic replacement. So yeah, if you have insights, um, feel free to share. My only concern, so yeah, in both cases, Plausible and Matomo are open source, so we could deploy the services ourselves. But my concern is in for that kind of service, in order to have them useful for the project, you want to collect data on a long term. And so that means that um, we will have to be sure that we, I mean, yeah, we, we have to be sure that we back up data and so on. So that would just put extra pressure on the Jenkins Infra team, and we already have a lot of things to do. So that's why I'm not really confident to host the, the service ourselves. And also, more importantly, as soon as you provide a service with analytics, if the data are incomplete, people take the wrong um, decision. I mean, people take the wrong conclusion based on the data. So I'm always feeling uncomfortable if I cannot share a service that it's 100% reliable when you want to collect data and analyze them. So that's why I'm not really, yeah, I would like to, to, to explore the, the sponsoring or um, the paid approach. But, so that's a small project. Um, 
Another, the next topic is about me creating archive touching kids.io. So we discovered last week that Rackspace stopped sponsoring the project two months ago. And so now we receive invoices. Those invoices were sent to KK's email address and he forgot to, to share them with us. So we'll have to pay the invoices. So at the moment it's around 600 per month. Uh, so we have two to pay and we have a third coming. So the idea is to migrate as soon as possible. Um, so we are now exploring. So Archive is a copy of another machine. So we could deploy that on Amazon, but I would like to have it deploy on another cloud provider. So we have some redundancy there. So we have either the option to deploy in Azure, but we are already trying to decrease the cost of our Azure accounts. So I would like to avoid that option. And so we have two options here, either deploying that on Oracle Clouds or on Scaleway. Um, we, I mean, those two accounts um, offers uh, low-cost infrastructure. So, so that's what we are exploring right now because Damien is not available at the moment and he has access to the Scaleway because that's a new project that we are exploring there. I um, would be more interested to look at Oracle this week, um, but yeah, migrating our archives at Jenkins.io to a different location is quite simple um, because that machine is puppetized. So we just have to be sure that the data is transferred from one location to the other one, which is a one-time rsync command. So that's that's the current state uh, for archive. Otherwise. I don't really have any other topic. Um, last week was pretty busy with Silicon and um, Contributor Summit, so we reduced our time there during that time. So, do you have? Do you want to break any topic, Mark? Well, so Aditya had Aditya had paired with Damien on some efforts last week. Uh, you and I have a plan to do work on archives.jenkins.io. Are there sensitive things there that we could we offer to let Aditya pair with us as well on that one? Sure. Or is is there, there is nothing critical? I mean, we we don't have secrets. I would say so. We won't share a secret in the video. So I mean, everybody is free to join. Um, I have to double check. So Aditya, if if you're interested, I'll include you in the invitation for our session tomorrow. I think it would be more difficult. Yeah, no, yeah, no, maybe it's, that's possible. Yeah, true. So, Sorry, what, what what do you think may be more difficult? No, I was just thinking in time, but uh, the time is fine for Aditya, I think. Um, oh, oh, well, it's it's as bad as this one, yeah. right? <laughs> it's it's a terrible time for Aditya because it's late in late in his evening, but it's it's it will be Right now, Aditya, your time, I assume it's roughly 10 p.m.? Yeah, right. 10 30 p.m.? Uh, no, it's roughly 9 30 p.m. Okay, so so it would be about 7 30 p.m. tomorrow, your time, that we would be. I'll, I'll, I'll include you on the invitation. You're welcome to attend. If you can't attend, don't worry. That's that's perfectly okay to if you're not available. It's just for me. It's a, it's it's great to have other other people involved as we're doing these things to to help us and uh, assess what we're doing. And just for information, think, if you want to if you want to move it later, um, yeah, feel free to ask, and we'll see if we can adapt. Uh, I think I will be available. So yeah, I would be happy to join. Okay, great. Uh, um. Just is it I'm okay if I suggest something? Uh, so, uh, yeah, can we please go back to the docs actually? Sure. Uh, so, uh, when you brought up the topic for plausible and Matomo, you were referring that uh, someone I, I, I forgot the name actually, they were looking for something like uh, user analytics and user behavior, right? And we yeah. would like to avoid. Uh, Google Analytics. So there's uh, this another tool I'm aware of that's called AWS Start. I AWS Start. I, if you want, I can link. I'll give you the link as well. So only bad them, yeah. part. Yes, I'm putting the link in the chat. Uh, only bad part about it I see is its UI is very old-fashioned. So the UI part is not great, but it gives the a lot of data about number of visitors, unique visitors, their duration and rush hours and etc so that might be something interesting for uh, 
someone to look into and i think it is open source so we can build on it as well if needed interesting thanks for sharing i was not aware of that tool oh yes i'll definitely explore sorry yeah sure i'll look at it i was not aware thanks for sharing that's good There is one, I mean, we are, uh, there is one last topic that I can bring. I'm not sure if I shared that information during the last status, um, the last infrastructure meeting, but I, I made several changes to the status page. Do you want me to, so, let me, so I'm going to, to share them again. Um, sorry if I shared them two weeks ago. So what I changed in the status page is I removed all the iframes. So it's way faster now to, to display this page when you go to status.jenkins.io. But instead, what I've did is I added two different um, tabs. The first one is services. And so if you click on it, you have, because I'm in a dark mode, you don't see the link correctly. But at the moment, we list three services and the plan is to add more. So we just have to work on the documentation. But if you click on a specific get the jing and that's get the we now have access to a, a description of the service. The iframe is loaded here. Um, because we only load one iframe, it's just faster. Um, we don't have to wait uh, five minutes to load the full page. And then we put some links to um, various locations. So in this case, it's get.jenkins.io. So I'm providing links to the ham charts, to the service, your bits, and so on. And so if you're curious about what this loop page looks like, you just go to the Git repository status page. So you go to the content, um, services, let's say get a Jenkins IO. Let's show the real view. And it's just an ad hoc file with few parameters. So we just provide a parameter to the, to the file and that will render. So we have the title of the service, uh, URL description, the, the monitor views, if you want to, let's say, in, include an iframe. So we have a title for the iframe and so on. So we use um, the Go templating to generate the page. And so the plan is to add more. So we have right now for one for get the Jenkins.io. And the idea is to provide, let's say, for um, the main website, Jenkins.io, plugins, and so on. So that's how I changes the status page. Um, I ca I'm currently working on upgrading C um, CS states. So it just changed the way we visualize, we have access to the time and that should clarify. And so if I go back to the, to the root of the service, I also provided another view, which is monitoring information. And so from here, we also have, have links to other pages. And so for instance, the, so there is links now to Datadog directly. So there is one view for um, every, website response time, HTTP response time. And so the plan is to just provide the links to the different public dashboard that we have on Datadog, Pedro Duty, or whatever. Um, I'm just trying to revisit how we deploy and manage the status page. I know that we are putting a lot more information about um, the different services on the status page because yeah, the goal of a status page is just to tell you if a service is done or not. The, the goal here is my goal here is to provide enough information for every services so people can look into the different location um, to understand what's wrong and maybe provide some, yeah, understand what, what's wrong, basically. So right now we only have two, get the Jenkins.io, um, package the Jenkins.io, and update the Jenkins.io. But the plan is to get to, is to have more. Um, that was the last point. Um, any other suggestions? Otherwise, I propose that we, we, we close the meeting here. None from me. Thanks for showing status.jenkins.io and marvelous work. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, you got them. So that's working very well. So then thanks for your time, everybody. And I'll uh, see you tomorrow during the work with archive.jenkins.io. Otherwise, see you on RC. Goodbye. Thanks. Goodbye. Thank you.